Well, this is not really much of a shock to anybody who knows what Genesis chapter 16, verse 11 and 12 says about the spiritual, about Ishmael, which also easily applies to his spiritual descendants known as the Muslims or the Mohammedans. But this is, uh, this was over in uh, South Carolina. In this case, it was, uh, this is on Summit News, posted by, posted by uh, Paul Joseph Watson. It says, uh, submit to Islam, South Carolina church vandalized with Islamic themed graffiti. Yeah, because that's the kind of activity that the Ishmaelite Muslims will get into. Because how does Genesis chapter, Genesis 16 verse 11 and 12 describe Ishmael? Well, wild man. And that description is perfectly accurate of his spiritual children, the Muslims. But in the article, it says, a South Carolina church had three of its 125 of its 125 year old windows broken and was vandalized with Islamic graffiti that read submit to God through Islam. Well, their false, their false God, Allah. It's who they're referring to. That's who they refer to when they say God. Muhammad is his prophet, was also spray painted on the outside of the Midway Presby Presbyterian Church on Sunday hours after celebrating Palm Sunday. The Anderson Police Department is offering a reward for any information leading to the arrest of the perpetrators. I hope they get charged with a hate crime, said one respondent on Facebook. Uh, quote, this is what happens when this ideology is allowed to per uh, permeate our country, unquote, added another. That that's the truth of the matter, is that, you know, uh, they'll whine about Islamophobia all day long, but when it comes to like an actual hate crime, which is vandalizing a church, well, the Muslims, I guess they, they get they get off some kind of scot free, as in you know they don't get they don't get accused of oh you're being Christianophobic or, or that's one term I've heard. Well, no, you know if you criticize Islam, you're just a racist Islamophobe. And if they if they vandalize a church, well, it's because they're mad at you know I guess like colonialism or something like that, or they're mad at you know uh, Western imperialism, which I'm you know I'm I'm a critic of that as well. I don't believe you should invade Middle Eastern countries, but they look for any kind of excuse to attack and hate on Christians, uh, because I did a video showing how they have all these bizarre pretexts. The Muslims do. And this kind of behavior is to be expected. But continuing on the article, it says, However, other respondents expressed doubt that a Muslim was behind the attack, speculating it could have just as easily been high school kids. Well, it could have been Muslim high school kids, you never know. And by the way, how many times have Muslims faked hate crimes? Quite a lot. But Muslims have been vandalizing churches in the Western world, like in America, Canada, and elsewhere, for quite a while now. This is a common practice of Muslims, because of course Christians are just the dirty infidels in the eyes of the, of the uh, Ishmaelite Mohammedans. So, like I said, this kind of behavior is to be expected from them. You know, that's just the truth of the matter. You know what scripture says about them in Genesis 16, verse 11 and 12, why would I expect them to act anything like anything other than a wild man? Because that's what the word of God says. I guess the angel of the Lord is now an Islamophobe as well or something like that. It's a bunch of garbage. That's all that it is. This term Islamophobia is just used to silence any kind of legitimate criticism or expressions of criticism of any aspect of Islam whatsoever. Uh, Islam is of the devil, plain and simple. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.